Hey guys, in this video I want to do a review of the Android 4.4.4 KitKat on my Google Nexus 5. I have just installed the update. It's a very, very low size update, if like 2.5 MB in size. So this is the 4.4.4 KitKat, uh, the latest version of the Android at the moment. With the Android L beta coming out, I will be installing it on my Nexus 5 and you know giving you the tutorial how to install it. So, uh, so I've installed the 4.4.4, and there is uh, you know no big improvements. You know like UI changes, all those kind of stuff. The main update that has been uh, improved here is the security update. There was some security error in the 4.4.3, so they have upgraded it to the 4.4.4 so previously uh, there was uh, you know final words that the 4.4.3 will be the final version of the Google uh, but uh, now they released the 4.4.4 with only a security update uh, bug has been fixed which was you know security is very important thing for your Android phone so that's why they have uh, fixed everything up with that uh, error and other than that everything is absolutely same uh, we don't have any kind of problems now. Uh, in terms of speed, it is as uh, fast as it was on 4.4.2 and the 4.4.3. In terms of the camera, we have the same updated 4.4.3 camera with blur and all, all those kind of features. And I'm completely stock. I don't have any kind of problems. You know, I don't have uh, problems because uh, those of you out there who customize your Nexus 5 may get a little bit problem, but uh, here it's completely stock. And uh, just uh, if you want to install it, 4.4.4, all you need to do is go to the settings and then search for the software update, and you will get the 4.4.4. And if you are not uh, on stock, if you are rooted, then you have to update manually by download the downloading the factory images for the 4.4.4. Same uh, method like the 4.4.3, and you have to flash it we have fast boot method and make sure your Nexus 5 has an unlocked bootloader and uh, and also in terms of the battery life I haven't seen any drastic changes or degrees in battery life it's actually the same uh, sometimes it's uh, awesome and sometimes it's just ideal so I must say the battery life is uh, good it's not bad and I'm using it at my daily driver because I like the speed I like the pure you know pure experience and I, I have Galaxy S5 but it's still Nexus 5 is my main phone and I'll be checking out a lot of stuff on this phone. I've, as you can see, a lot of games here. We'll be trying out on the 4.4.4. So, yes, do subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you have any questions related to this video, you can just comment down below. And I will answer them. And like this video if you enjoyed. And subscribe. And I will see you next video. Peace out.